project's all about connectivity, making it easier for pedestrians and for bicyclists to go from point A to point B. If you're in Mount Washington or in Anderson Township over here, there's still a gap that is kind of treacherous for folks to get from the neighborhood to the trail. That trail is the Little Miami Scenic Trail. Currently, there's no separate path for bicyclists and pedestrians coming from these neighborhoods off Beachmont Avenue. So often that that pinch point that we have right here is enough of a barrier to deter people from making that choice to walk or to bike. ODOT estimates there are 425 households close to this area that lack a safe access path. The new Elston connection will create one. ODOT's weighing these three options for a path just for walking and biking, separated from traffic. Now that Comet has closed, they'll pick one and finalize its design. I think that, you know, the people that live um, in the Anderson Township, Mount Washington area, they're going to find that they have an easier way. This project is also about safety. Right now, residents who live up the hill here on Elston Road have no sidewalk to walk down to their bus stop. The Elston Connection proposes adding those sidewalks in. The second part of this project is the Ranchvale Connection. It aims to create another separated path for walking and biking along Beachmont between Elston Road and Ranchvale Drive. Right now, there's just one bike lane, and it runs alongside cars. The proposed path is about two miles down Beachmont from where a pedestrian was struck and killed in the bike lane this summer. We're going to be installing a five-foot vegetated grass buffer between the roadway and the path. And that's huge. That's very significant for the safety of those that are on the path. Johnston hopes these improvements sway more people to try alternative transportation. I think collectively, we are seeing a, a transformation happen before our eyes here in Cincinnati, where we've had really great trail networks that have historically been destinations, and now they're going to be a network that people can use to get around. Fuller estimates that construction on this project could get started in the summer of 2024. It could be complete in the late summer of 2025. Reporting off Beachmont Avenue, Madeline Adelaide, WCPO 9 News.